No, I am not one to normally get all dewy-eyed and emotional over something as mundane as a GM screen. They are a thing that I think you either like using or, or you don't. Um, because everything that's in a GM screen, generally speaking, is in the rule book. And, you know, meh. 20 odd pound for a lump of cardboard and a photocopy of some stuff that you've already got access to. What's that all about? Pretty picture on one side, you could do it yourself. Anywho, that being said, this comes and you think, all right, GM screen, yep, here we go. It's a bit bigger than I expected. It's a bit heavier than I expected. Always read the small print, I suppose. I thought I had. Um, this is much more than a GM screen. And even upon initially discovering that it was much more than a GM screen, I was skeptical until I sat down and read through it. And my skepticism was put to bed. So, take off the cardboard sleeve. It's fairly well packed. It then has a paper protector around it. And we're into the goods. And of course, here's the GM screen. But we'll look at that in a moment. Because this, for me, is where the money is. It's all the other stuff. Miss Jews, Blackwater Creek, two pre-written scenarios in a very good quality magazine format. Very good quality magazine, like posh magazines. I thought, well, fair enough. Couple of freebie adventures, big wow. There'll not be much to write home about. And then I read them. And I thought to myself, well, fair play. Fair play. These are good. They are fully fleshed out. Everything you would expect from a bot scenario off the shelf. Brief, yes. But the details all there. Um, for the novice, the newbie, this is bang on. Uh, the advice is there, the guidelines are all there. It's, it's all you're going to need. If you're experienced, you're going to read through it and you're probably going to go, okay, it's a little bit A to B. Okay, here's here's what I can do to, to mix this up. Here's what I can do to flesh this out and make this a little bit longer. But that's fine because if you're an experienced keeper, you're going to have looked at many scenarios. Some of them you will have abbreviated. Some of them you'll pad out. And of course, your players will... Grab every red herring you throw and, and make a fortnight uh, story out of that alone. So from that point of view, these are great. Um, because the background characters, the NPCs, all your stats, all your maps, it's all here. And they give you pre-generated characters. You don't have to use them. There's a couple of suggestions in each scenario for the types of investigators you might want to employ. And they sort of say, but if you decide to go with these ones, we've included them for you. So that's nice too. In this one, um, Blackwater Creek, you are investigating a missing expedition from Miskatonic University. And bad things happen. Into the appendices, all the NPCs. A bit more background. And then your pre-gens. And there you go. And it's the, it's the full pre-gems, front and back. So it's all there. That's class. Skip through that. And you're into the second scenario. And that's... I've lost track of how many pages. There you go. You're at, you're at 50 pages for the first scenario, including all the extras. And the second one, I think, is something similar. I can't remember now. 86, we'll not count the index. So that's 54 to, well, there we go. Well, 50, 85 is going to take you up to the end of the investigators. 
So it's a little bit slimmer, but not much. And I got through that and went, well, yeah, that's okay, fair enough. That's decent, That, you know, for the money. Yeah, screen and a couple of decent scenarios. But it didn't end. It didn't end. Um, there was the colour maps. Now, there, there is a little bit of page damage. Because uh, these are loose. And the way they were packed, there's been a little bit of edge damage. But I'm not going to cry about that. So the maps are there. And that's nice. And I thought, well, that, that's a nice touch. And then I came to these. I went, what, what the heck's all this? There are three more maps. And in my humble opinion, these three more maps seal the deal. They seal the deal make me think they're undercharging. This map, and I don't know, I, I don't think I can let you see all of it. Maybe I can, I'll try my best. So this is a map of the Earth and the Great Old One's Dark Prize and it shows you all the key sort of locations, mythos locations and mysterious sites. That's pearl. There is a map of Lovecraft Country. Do it sideways, which is wrong. You'll see a bit more of it. But there you go. Nice full colour map and key of your whole Arkham, Boston, Newburyport. Brilliant. All the main roads and thoroughfares and side tracks. That's just class. And then this, which is just lovely. And it's a nice little sort of tourist style map of Arkham. Now we've seen maps like this obviously before. Um, we've seen them in a couple of board games and the uh, Mythos Tales. It's just slightly different. But all the main streets are there. Key locations are still kind of marked. But this time a little bit more vague. You can kind of play with it yourself. But yeah, I thought, okay. It's too... Two decent, solid scenarios, handouts, three lovely big full colour maps, and a screen. And it still doesn't stop because you've got Keeper's References for ease. Okay. Investigator Generation Quick Fire Method. I don't know why you get to them, but you do. And it just runs you through some basic stuff and key things to look up. Some key dates, weapons tables, handguns. It's just a fast, easy reference. And then ties in with the main book on keywords. Lovely. I suppose you can have one, one for the players if they want it, if they're allowed to look at stuff up. And you get another ward of player sheets for the 1920s. Bit glossy, they're a bit shiny, posh ones. Keep them for special occasions. But again, you know, like if if you were if you were to run into local games and buy this, and you were a half decent keeper and you kind of knew what you're doing, you're up and running. There's your, there's your weekend's fun. Sorted. Take that away. And then there's the keeper screen itself. Now you can't see it all. Well, you can't see it all, but you're not going to see it all at once. The keeper screens, I suppose, really, this is this is where my thing is. It's, it depends on the style of game you run what tables are going to be relevant to you at times and what you're going to look up an awful lot. But if you're new to the game, you're, you're going to try and stay on top of it all because you haven't learned bad habits yet. And uh, yeah, it, it delivers. 
There you go. And of course, there's the required very fancy picture. This is the exciting part of the picture over here. <laughs> Which you will have seen of course with the new addition. It's been quite prominently used in the adverts and that. But that's just really nice. Fades off into the darkness of the trees and the suggestion of things going on. You see? So there you go kids. Um, what can I say? If, if that isn't enough to convince you. If you're a tired old cynic like I am, who normally sort of thinks that things like this are a bit of a waste of money, really. Shh, don't tell anybody. You're allowed to be a fan. That's the great thing. You're allowed to be a fan of a thing and not necessarily need, want, or approve of everything that comes out in the name of your fandom. Um, but as a tired old cynic, as someone who's been through the mill and spent more money than they care to count on these things over the years, I have to say that this one hits the mark. Um, it definitely, I feel, delivers well above its price range for what you're getting out of it. Um, and maybe they're all like that, because I don't make a point of running out and getting things like this. Ever, really. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe I've been missing out. Maybe they're all as awesome as this. But certainly the ones that I've seen so far in my long and illustrious life haven't just been quite as uh, as action-packed as this one so there you go that's it no need to keep you you can clear off now and do something meaningful with your evening thanks for watching bye bye